Geolocation in real estate allows users to go into a real estate website and see properties nearby the place they're at. And this is very useful because it helps them find properties nearby the place they're currently located instead of properties scattered all over the world. I recently made a video about the Geolocation Saved Link app. And in this video, I'm going to explain how the Geolocation map works. It works very similarly to the Geolocation Saved Links. So I also recommend taking a look at that video. What this app does is it allows you to create a widget of a map for you to show anywhere on your site. And it works with geolocation. So what this means is if a user's browser has geolocation enabled, it will show the properties nearby um, where that user is. And it's very easy to set up. You have to enter some default map center coordinates for this to work. So if, for example, you operate in Toronto, add in the general coordinates of Toronto. Either way, since it's using geolocation, it will modify to where that user um, is located when they're browsing in this map. Then you have the option of selecting the default map zoom level. One is the farthest and 20 is the closest. By default, it's 11, but you can modify this. And um, a distance that you will use as a reference. So if a person is located in a certain place, how far away from that place um, is the maximum number of miles or kilometers the properties would be at. So five is used as default. You can modify this um, to show only the closest ones or also show the ones further away and whether you want to use miles or kilometers for this number. Then you have the default search values. In this case, you can select the MLS that you want to use and which types of properties you want to show on the map. As for city, county, and zip code, we recommend leaving this blank because it's going to be using um, geolocation. But either way, you can add in a value and it would modify based on the location, as I mentioned. In this case, I'm going to leave this blank because I want to test out if the location is actually working. You can add in um, a minimum price, a maximum price, number of baths, beds, square feet, acres, etc. And you can sort the properties by these different ways. We're going to be sorting them by um, most expensive to least in this case. You can also say that you want um, the properties to have an image when it's showing the map and the properties at the side. And you can add in advanced fields if you'd like. So if you want, um, for example, the status, you can make sure that the properties are active, which is the A that it's showing there. Then if you click on show advanced settings, you will see the map settings and we use snazzy maps for that. Um, so you can decide whether you want the properties to show up in rows or in cards and then choose a style for the map. I'm going to be choosing this one, but we have different options in snazzy maps that you can choose from. Um, so this is stored in the advanced settings option. You can also add in more custom code over here if you'd like and if you know about CSS. So for now, I'm going to leave this as is. These were the settings that we had added in before. They got deleted. And now I'm just going to click on generate code, copy code. And I'm going to be testing it out on this website called JS Fiddle. I forgot to mention that I'm testing um, the map, the geolocation map widget on a website that operates in Toronto. So I'm going to be running this. And I'm not in Toronto right now, but what I did is I modified my browser. You don't need to do this. So that it thinks I'm in the city called Etobicoke. I'm not sure if that's how it's pronounced. Um, so this would be how the map would look on mobile. There it is again. And if I make this bigger, this is how it would look on a desktop. And as you remember, we were sorting out the properties by most expensive to least, um, making sure that they were active and that they had an image. Um, you can also modify this here because it has these options for users. We can modify this to show the newest properties and it would modify the map and how far away we want the properties over here in the distance section. Just to make sure that the geolocation is working, I'm going to change my location to San Francisco and refresh this page. And as you can see, no results are showing because it takes uh, my location in San Francisco and this website operating in Toronto 
doesn't have any properties nearby where I'm at or the user is at in that case. So this is how the geolocation map widget works. If you want to add it to your site, you just need to copy this code and add it somewhere. And you can even create a near me section um, on your website where you can add this map or just anywhere you'd like it to go. Here's an example of the Toronto website using the geolocation map feature. They have it here on a near me section and um, they have this map over here that they created using our website and our application. If you want to get access to the geolocation map, go to realtycandy.com slash free to become a Realty Candy client and just click on any of these mail providers to send an email um, to IDX broker. They'll make the change and you'll become um, a Realty Candy client. You just need to have an IDX broker account.